In most FDTD simulations, you can use field symmetries to significantly reduce computation to a half, a quarter, or even an eighth, potentially saving significant time. Symmetry settings are located at the left sidebar. Properly defining symmetry conditions in FDTD simulations requires considering the geometries and positions of structures and sources within the simulation domain. Let's use the Photonic Crystal Slab Polarization Filter, which you can find in the Examples folder as an example. This structure itself exhibits mirror symmetries along planes that bisect the simulation domain normal to the x, y, and z directions. However, when we consider the source plane's position, mirror symmetries are only present along the y and z directions. To begin, please make a copy of this task and in the Boundary and Symmetry panel, initially opt for No Symmetry. Go ahead and run the simulation. Upon accessing the simulation results, you'll observe that the Fundamental Transverse Electric, or TE0, guided mode cannot propagate through the Photonic Crystal Waveguide due to the band gap effect. On the other hand, the Transverse Magnetic, or TM0, optical mode is allowed to propagate with high efficiency. Let's set up the correct symmetry conditions in the X, Y, and Z directions, starting with the TE0 injection case. To achieve this, in addition to considering the geometry of structures and source planes, we must consider the vectorial nature of the fields to correctly determine the type of symmetry. As shown here, you can accomplish this by utilizing the mode solver to inspect the mode field distributions. At the symmetry plane normal to the y direction, the TE0 mode conforms to a PEC-like condition, meaning the field component normal to that plane, the EY field, remains continuous along the interface. In contrast, the field component EZ, which is tangential to the symmetry plane, is null at the interface. Before setting up the symmetry, click the Estimate Flex Credit command to note that the simulation has about 10 million grid points when no symmetries are enforced. Then click Boundary and Symmetry and choose Odd, i.e. PEC symmetry, for the Y direction. After re-estimating the flex credit, you'll see the number of grid points reduced by half. Run the simulation and go to the post-run results. After setting up the Y symmetry, the field distribution remains the same as in the case with no symmetry. The modal flux monitor will yield the same result as well. That will be more obvious if you zoom out on the amplitude axis. When uncertain about symmetry settings, you can always compare the results with cases without symmetries. If you examine the TE0 magnetic field distributions, you'll observe that the magnetic field tangent to the Z symmetry plane is null. On the other hand, the component HZ, normal to the symmetry plane, remains continuous, giving the mode a PMC-like condition at the Z symmetry plane. Return to the symmetry definitions and set it to even, i.e. PMC symmetry. Enable the symmetry visualization to double-check the symmetries applied to the simulation. The odd, i.e. PEC symmetry condition is shown in red, whereas the even, i.e. PMC symmetry is colored in blue. After clicking Estimate Flex Credit, you'll see a fourfold reduction in grid points. Run the simulation and observe that the results remain consistent. Now let's explore how to set the symmetry to launch the TM0 mode and achieve a fourfold reduction in simulation size as well. By examining the TM0 mode field distributions, you'll notice that this mode exhibits PMC symmetry in the Y direction and PEC symmetry in the Z direction. Set these symmetry options in the simulation and rerun it. By implementing these symmetry conditions, the TE0 mode is filtered out and the TM0 mode is now enabled to propagate through the waveguide, as evident from these results. Lastly, in certain applications where the structure and sources are symmetric to all X, Y, and Z directions, like in this photonic crystal nanocavity example, you can achieve an eightfold reduction in simulation size after setting up symmetries.